Here we go for part one of completing a square. So right now we have x squared plus 4x plus c. So we want to complete the square by adding in a number c that makes this a perfect square. Right now we have x squared, which is represented by this box because it's x times x, and then four x's, one, two, three, four. Written like this, we have a rectangle, x squared plus 4x, but we want to make it into a box. So to make it into a box, we just have to take half of these, so it'll be an even box. A square has the even number of things on both sides. So we're going to take these two guys and we're going to move them over here. So it looks like this. x is here, x is here, x is here, x is here, and we have x squared. Now, when we say plus c, we're trying to complete the square. We are asking, what do we need to complete the square? So we have the square almost completed, but we don't have anything in here. And we're like, okay, what can we put in there? Well, let's find out. We're gonna put unit squares in here because right now, if we look at it, x squared is x times x. And how many x's are there here? Two and two. And so to complete this, we're going to need one, two, three, four unit squares. So these are unit squares. They each equal one, two, three, four. So the number that completes the square here is going to be four. So this number is four. So we can rewrite that as x squared plus four x plus four. And this is called a perfect square trinomial. Again, perfect square and then trinomial. It's a trinomial because there are one, two, three pieces. It's a square, perfect square because there's two on each side. It actually literally makes a square. So here's the perfect square that we just made. And here is the box we're used to using. I want you guys to realize that these are the same exact thing. These two equal each other, and let's see how. So what's in the first box? x squared. What's in the last box? 4. And you can even, if you wanted to, you could like break it up like this so you can really see those boxes, correct? All right, what's over here? Two x is here, correct? And what's here? Two x. So since these match, we can then factor it. What times what is x squared? x times x makes x squared. And then if you're gonna factor this, this is gonna be a two because two times x is two x, and then a two here as well because two times two is four. And it's a positive two and a positive two. So this is the trinomial in standard form. But now that you have this, you can write it in factored form as well. In factored form just means writing it as factors. But we're gonna be super efficient. We don't wanna write something twice, so it's much better since there are two of these. It's kind of like if you had three times three, you can write it as three squared. Or x times x, you can write it as x squared. So we're gonna go x plus two, and since there are two of them, we're gonna write squared. So when you see a trinomial that looks like this, that is a perfect square. It is written as a perfect square, and it means x plus 2 times x plus 2, and that means x squared plus 4x plus 4. And when you're like, why are we doing this? <laughs> because this is hard to graph, but this is easy to graph. If you notice, if you put a y equals here, it looks very much like your transformation form, which means this is just a normal parabola that has been moved over. Uh-oh, there's a plus here and there's a minus here. So it's y equals, there's no a, x minus a negative two squared, which be became the plus. So that means it's moved over h along the horizontal x-axis because it's with x, by negative two, and that just helps us graph it so much more easily.
All right. Have a great day.